and welcome to another Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through creating teleportation systems with a user-friendly GUI, graphical user in interface in Roblox Studio. Teleports with GUIs are perfect for enhancing your player navigation and providing in intuitive ways to move between different places or maps within your Roblox game. So, 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 um, teleportion, so, so you might be asking, what are teleportion systems? Well, teleportion systems are essential for many Roblox games, allowing players to explore different areas see, seamlessly. So today, I'll show you how to implement a teleportion system with a GUI, making it easy for players to navigate to your game world. So first, so first what you want to do is is head over to create.roblox.com. All right. So I just need to wait for it to load. All right. So now okay, so now that we we went to create.roblox.com. So if you go to this website called create.roblox.com, it will show you all your games that you created. Or if you click on show i archived it will show it will show all the games that you archived and then and then after that so what you want to do is, is edit your roblox game or you can create a new roblox game or or you can edit your roblox game if you're working on one so what you want to do is click on create experience if you're going to create a new experience All right, so now, all right, so now what I'm going to do is click on here on this base plate, and now what I'm going to do it, it is make a Roblox game. So I'm going, so what I'm going to do is publish my Roblox game, and I'm going to name it. And now what I'm going to name it, it is called Tutorial Place. All right, so tutorial place, I'm going to click create. All right, so now, so now here, here's step one. So, so step one is setting up teleportation locations. First, identify the places or maps you want players to teleport between in Roblox Studio. All right, so in Roblox Studio, open your game like you did and create new places or locate existing one. Or, or, and you might be asking, well, how do you create a place? Well, to create a place, click on game settings and then click on places. And then what you want to do is click on create place. And as you can see here that this is it, when I when I click create, it creates a new place. All right, so now, and then after that's done, what you want to do is close your Roblox game. Well, you might be, well, you might be wondering why we're closing our Roblox game because the reason why we closed our Roblox game because because if you because after you create your Roblox game, now what you want to do is create a new Roblox game for your place, or you can choose any of these templates. So. For example, what I'm going to choose is this racing template, and and also you might have another question, and and it might be, well, how do you, uh, how do you um, um, how, how do how do you create a, a new place with your Roblox game, but, but but with a different template? So to do that, what you want to do is click on File and then click on publish to Roblox as and now what you want to do is click on your Roblox game and then what you want to do is click on add as a new place and then click create and then after that it'll say it'll say successfully published you may find this place in your Roblox game and then after you and then you close your Roblox game and then also close the template and now what you want to do is open your Roblox game. 
Now, if we open our Roblox game. All right, so now that we opened our Roblox game, now we're open. Now we're moving on to step two. Step two is designing the GUI. Next, design your GUI elements. Insert UI elements like buttons or icons that players can interact with to imitate teleportion. Customize the appearance to match your game style. So what I'm going to do is create a GUI. So, so what you want to do is head over to start GUI and then go on screen GUI. And now what I'm going to do is add a frame. All right, so, so as you can see here, this is my frame and I'm going to make my frame big enough. I'm going to make it big in a matter of fact. So, so what you want to do is size it. And now what I'm going to do is move it. And then after that, what you so so in your so in your in your GUI, you can add different stuff. So, so I have this model called by GUI and inside the by GUI it has this yes and no. And what I'm going to do is put that into my in, into my into my GUI, into my screen GUI. So right here, I have yes and no. So what I'm going to do is, is add yes to my frame. All right. I'm going to add yes. I'm, I'm going to size the no button. All right, so I'm going to size the no button. And then what I'm going to do is move the no button and go on no. And now what you want to do, and now what you want to do is, now that we have our screen GUI, now what you want to do is go over to your frame and you can change the color to anything you want. I'm going I'm to change it to blue, and now, now what you want to do is add a text button, or, or you don't have to add a text button, but, but you can, but, so, so I'm going to add a text button, and then, and then right here, you can add, you can add whatever you would like. All right, so so now, now what you want to do is name your text button. So right here, if you scroll down, you you will see the text, and, and it will call button. And then what you want to do is name it whatever you like. But for right now, what I'm going to do is name it teleport to place. So so I named it to teleport to place. All right, so now that I now that I named it teleport to place, now, now what you and now what you want to do, now it's scripting time. So so now we're moving on to step three. Step three is writing the script. Open the script editor for your UI element and write a script that triggers when the button is clicked. Use the teleport service to teleport the the player to a design place or map. So what you want to do is is add a local script in one of your text buttons. So for example, what I'm going to do is add a script into yes. So I make sure you add a local script into your text button. And then what you want to do is erase this old code like I just did and replace it with this code, which we linked in the description. And now what we will do is modify the script. So, so where it says destination place ID, what you want to do is replace your place ID with with your actual place ID. So, so um, so what I'm going to do is refresh the page. So to find your place ID, what you want to do is click on tutorial place, and then after you click on tutorial place, click on places. And then after you click on places, what you want to do is click on your Roblox game. And then after you click on your Roblox game, what you want to do is copy and paste this code. I mean, copy and paste your ID. 
and then when you click on your game this is the id right here what you want to do is copy it and then go back to roblox studio and then paste it all right so now that we have our roblox game done so now that we have our roblox games done what you want to do to save the changes press so for pc players so for pc users press ctrl s but for Mac users, use Command S or you can click on File and then click Publish to Roblox. And then after you publish your game to Roblox, now what we're going to do is test our Roblox game to see if it works. So what you want to do is go to your Roblox game. And then after you go to your Roblox game, what you want to do is click on the Play button. And right here, as you can see here, these are the GUIs. And then when I click yes, so so when I click on this yes button, and, and as you can see here, it teleported me to my place. So so if you didn't see that, if you if you didn't see that, I'm gonna do it again. So what I'm going to do is play my Roblox game called Tutorial. And then as you can see here, I joined my Roblox game called Tutorial. And then when I click on the yes button, when I click on the text button called yes, it will teleport me to the place. As, and as you can see here, it teleported to me to, to my Roblox place. And all right, what I'm gonna do is close Roblox. and that's it um and there you have it you have successfully created a tele to teleportation system with a gui in roblox studio i hope you found this tutorial helpful in and en enhancing your roblox develop your game development skills if you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe and click the bell icon for more roblox scripting tutorials or go high level tutorials, etc. Thanks for watching and happy game developing.